How you doing? My name is Locke. I'm from 2MCCTV.com. In this video, we are going to go, to go over how to change the camera resolution on the DVR. Now, the first thing we're going to do to do this is we're just going to go into the main menu. We're going to click on System. Then we're going to click on Encode. So when you get to the Encode screen, you'll see there's two sections. There's uh, they, They're very similar in settings. Um, but one of them is going to be your mainstream and the second one right here is going to be your substream. So your mainstream is is basically what you're going to be viewing if you're at the DVR and that's going to be also your recording resolution. And then your substream uh, is going to be at a lower resolution and at a lower frame rate. So the reason why they have a substream is basically when you're trying to view all your cameras remotely, depending on your internet speed, um, and how fast it is sometimes there's a lot of lot of delay and a lot of lag and that's due because the limited bandwidth that you have going out of your network so the substring gives you an option to lower the resolution lower the frame rates basically just to help lower that bandwidth so you can get a smooth picture across the net or across the network so basically if you want to change your resolution all you have to do is just click on the little drop down right here under resolution and just change it to whatever resolution you're comfortable with. So right now I have it set to 960 by 480 so I'm getting the highest resolution I can out of this DVR but the one thing I am sacrificing is I am sacrificing more hard drive space. But So that's basically up to you if you want the clearest picture and hard drive space isn't really a big deal for you uh, I would definitely recommend you choosing the highest resolution, but if you're limited on hard drive space, you might just want to lower the resolution down a little bit or even think about lowering the frame rates because this is the option where you would go to change the frame rates of each camera. And the way you would do that is you'll choose the cameras or you could choose all of them and then you just change whatever settings that you need. Um, that's about it for this video. I want to thank you for watching this tutorial video and make sure you visit our website at www.2mcctv.com and also check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a good day.